Now to pairs figure skating. Brandon Frazier and Alexa Kinnearum. Brandon was born in the Valley and Alexa's husband, Chris, grew up in Tucson. In fact, Chris's mother still lives in Arizona. And as Team 12's Mitch Carr shows us, the two of them watched Alexa and Brandon skate tonight. Four years ago, it was Valentine's Day, actually. Chris Kinnearum was sharing a kiss with his bride for the whole world to see. Which was super special. On a metal podium. But I'll never be able to top it for the rest of my life, so that's cool. This year, he has to watch from California as Alexa competes with a new partner and COVID rules keep him from coaching his wife in Beijing. Obviously, I'm not there, so it is different, but... Uh, just the whole atmosphere is a little different with everything going on. Chris was born in Tucson, and Alexa's new partner, Brandon Frazier, was born in Arizona, too. Chris will be cheering for them both. We've never been apart for the, this long, actually, for, for more than maybe two weeks um, since we started dating. It'll now be Frazier throwing Alexa high above a rock-hard sheet of ice, but he trusts him. That was one thing I was worried about when we started looking for a partner is finding someone that was good enough to skate with Alexa. Um, and, you know, we found that with Brandon. Still, he'll be very nervous each time they skate. I can't sit down. I like stand up um, and just like walk around as I watch. Like mother, like son. It's nerves. I get very nervous. I was not a parent who could sit and watch. I had to walk around. Chris's mother, Dee Dee, was in Pyeongchang in 2018. Even though she won't be there either, and even though her son isn't competing this time, she is still excited to watch her daughter-in-law. Just as excited, because she's mine too. Dee Dee and Chris are at separate watch parties tonight. I'm in a 55 and up community and... We're all partying away. The Yuma native will be one of millions hoping Alexa can make it back to the medal podium and that Brandon can do so for the first time. Mitch Carr, 12 News.